Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review Lo, Love is Hell. Written and directed by Travis Betts, starring Jeremiah Burkett, Sarah Lazis, Aaron Gaffey, Devin Berry, and Ward Roberts. Lo is a comedy musical about Justin, a guy who's lost the love of his life and has summoned the demon Lo to search the depths of hell in order to find her. This is actually a recommendation from Patreon. Mr. Awesome recommended this. Awesome! I came to the table! He won our monthly movie raffle where on Patreon you get to recommend a movie for us to review and we draw it every month. It's really cool because we get to find these kind of weird, obscure indie movies most of the time. So thank you, Mr. Awesome. What do we like? I loved Lo. Lo was a very cool character. Not just like in the character design. Looked awesome, but the character Lo was very entertaining and probably like the highlight of this film. Just the dialogue that he was having with Justin and whether he was just being satirical, funny, or serious, everything that Lo did was very well done. I asked you for emotional details. How you met, how you fought, how you fucked, how you kissed, how you ate, bathed, hit, insulted, and killed! Don't give me her stats, I'm not casting a movie. Yeah, I definitely have to give credit to the acting because this is such a strange movie because it's like basically a one location movie where it's just people hanging out in darkness and the only like exterior scenes or flashbacks are actually just like plays that are just low translating Justin's thoughts and showing them to us. And so it's, it's very cool. And so it takes strong acting to be able to kind of follow along with this and low is Amazing. I also really like the creature design too. He just looks super creepy. If the makeup wasn't as good, it would come off way too cheesy, I think, and I think I wouldn't have liked it, but it was so well done. And there are multiple demons, and all of them looked really cool. We got like the little creepy Grinch girl rat thing. <laughs> We've got the Nazi Jeepers Creepers looking fella. And of course, probably my favorites, gold faces. I love gold. Justin was cool enough as well. He's like, kind of this dumb guy. He doesn't quite understand what he's doing. He's just created this seance circle and here he's dealing with a demon. Uh, but he has strange mannerisms and he definitely reminded us both of Angry Video Game Nerd, both in the way that he talks because his accent and the way that he delivers certain lines definitely sound like him. What's the matter, geez? Can't handle the fact that you don't know everything. And his facial expressions when he's kind of like freaking out. It's very weird, but I liked it. I thought it was funny that they explained plot points through song and dance. It was weird, but I was entertained by the Demon Girl song. I thought it was catchy. Demon. And they fucking look like rock stars. That like purple sequence suit. And they threw a little like sax man in there. In general, I think the movie had like a really cool delivery. It's something very unique. It's way different than most movies that you watch. I think it would actually translate well to a real musical, considering what they were doing looked like they were set pieces for a stage anyway. Most everything else is based on like two people's dialogue. It's a very small cast. There's only like four or five people total. And they were able to keep me entertained despite just like almost looking at nothing but two people talking. I was also happy that they revealed April being a demon right off the bat because they allude to the idea when Justin first meets her and it's very obvious that she's not human. Oh, no, really, I wasn't very hungry. And there's another one on the way. I just don't eat much. I mean, at least I didn't use to, but I plan on eating tons now. So I'm happy that the story just like instantly said, yep, She's a demon, instead of making it a big twist. Now what didn't we like? I wasn't a big fan of the pacing of this movie. I felt it was too slow, and considering it's a dialogue heavy film, it's just hard to really get invested when you can kind of predict the direction that the film is going in. They established that April is a demon, which is great, but at the same time, you're just kind of waiting for that final moment where Justin and April meet, and the rest of the film feels like it's dragging 
dragged out. And because it's kind of like this one location thing where you got two people sitting in the dark, you don't know when the movie is going to end. Like, you have no idea. The end of the movie either has to be April coming or April not coming because he's basically waiting for this demon to get April back to the circle. And she's either coming or she's going, but you can't see anything outside anyway. And it's just a matter of when. So you just wait and wait and wait. They talk, they talk, and then you're waiting. And you're like, okay, just is it gonna happen or is it not? Can we just move on? I wasn't necessarily too bored because I enjoyed every individual piece, but as like a full movie, and it's not a long movie, it's an hour and 20 minutes. It still felt long though. I don't know if this is a dislike, but I didn't know that this was really a comedy until like 10 minutes in, and it really caught me off guard. This is one of those movies that you need to know what it is before you sit down and watch it, because if you think this is gonna be like a serious Pan's Labyrinth. Like, I thought it was a Pan's Labyrinth kind of thing based on some of the creatures that I saw. From all, like, the art and just, like, the look of this movie, it seems like it's going to be way more serious than it is, but Lo is just cracking jokes the whole time. So you need to know that, and there are musical numbers, but you've seen that now, so... This is irrelevant. Now it's time for our final thoughts and ratings. Lo is an interesting movie. Like John said, it's more of a theatrical performance than your standard movie, but it was enjoyable. If I had a stack of movies, I probably would not have watched this though, over anything else to be honest, but you know, I'm glad that we watched it. The performances were excellent. The creature and costume design were amazing, and I enjoyed the unique way that they told this story. Unfortunately, the movie does have pacing issues, it is more of a love story, and because you know what the end point of the movie is from the beginning, you're just waiting for that to just come, and it can come at any moment. There isn't a proper story arc, so you could get bored, and you're likely just gonna be looking at your watch like, okay, maybe in like five minutes, the next time that they cut to something, that's when she'll come or not come. This one's tough. I don't know if I would totally recommend it, but if you watch it, you're probably not gonna hate it. So I'm gonna give this two and a half cool guy demons out of five. Demon smoke, it's cool. I feel as though this film falls victim to not making itself evident of what kind of film it is. Not knowing exactly what you're getting into is the biggest downfall of this film because judging from the poster art and synopsis, you would expect one thing, but the delivery is something very different. It is a unique film and it is interesting. I liked the characters. The acting was very well done, especially Jeremiah Burkett who plays Low. He did an amazing job delivering his lines. The costumes of the demons looked really cool, but the story itself and the pacing of the film is really slow and dragged out, it's predictable, and it's something that most people may not really enjoy, unless they're into like different style of films. If you wanna check this one out, just know going into it that you're watching a play, not a film. And it, you're watching a comedy musical, and not a horror as well. That's, that's also a good thing to go into knowing. So with that being said, I'm gonna give this film two medals of excellence, out of five. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below with your thoughts on the film if you've seen it. If you haven't and you do want to check it out, there are links in the description where you can find it. And if you want the opportunity to recommend a movie for us to review, definitely check out the Patreon link, first link in the description, and, and join the monthly movie raffle. And you can recommend weird things for us to review like this. And if it's your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, stay updated with everything, bloodbath, and beyond.